things to me. Hey, we got a new record. It's called Cowboys and Dreamers. It's going to be coming out soon. This is a song off of that record. It's called... George Strait has finally revealed details about his first new album in five years, Cowboys and Dreamers, set to release on September 6th. This exciting news also comes with the debut of a new song from the album, M.I.A. Down in M.I.A. As one of the top living legends in country music, fans are eagerly looking forward to this release. Cowboys and Dreamers promises to be a much-anticipated addition to George Strait's impressive music career. Since George Strait's last album release, country music has changed a lot. Back in 2019, when Honky Tonk Time Machine came out, the genre was still moving away from the bro country trend. Now, there are many new traditional country artists inspired by Strait who are bringing fresh energy to the genre. This makes it even more exciting for Strait to come out of his semi-retirement and release new music. Fans are eager to see how his classic style will blend with the current country music scene. The release of George Strait's new album also follows a difficult period for him and his team. Recently, Strait has lost three individuals who were very close to him and played key roles in his career. Despite this challenging time, he has found the strength to create and share new music, making the upcoming album, Cowboys and Dreamers, even more meaningful for his fans and himself. I'm dedicating this record to my longtime manager and friend Irv Woolsey and my longtime fiddle player and friend Gene Elders, a player on four of these tracks, who we lost on the same day, March 20th, 2024, as well as my longtime friend and road manager Tom Foote, who we lost on April 29th, 2024, says Strait. I will never forget all of the good times we had together. May they rest in peace with our Lord Jesus Christ. Among those who passed away too soon is Keith Gaddis, a talented songwriter, performer, and producer. Gaddis died in a tragic tractor accident in 2023. George Strait was very close to Gaddis and even attended a tribute show for him later that year. Honoring his friend's memory, Strait has included three of Gaddis's songs on his new album, Cowboys and Dreamers. One of these songs is particularly special as Gaddis wrote it with the legendary Guy Clark. This heartfelt tribute adds a poignant layer to Strait's highly anticipated album. Keith Gaddis joins an impressive lineup of songwriters on George Strait's new album, Cowboys and Dreamers. These include Chris Stapleton, Kendall Marvel, Jesse Joe Dillon, and longtime Strait collaborators Dean Dillon and Jim Lauderdale. Strait's son, Bubba Strait, also contributes a few co-writes, along with George Strait himself. Adding to the album's appeal, Strait chose to cover Waymore's Blues by Waylon Jennings. This mix of talented songwriters and classic covers makes Cowboys and Dreamers a highly anticipated release for country music fans. A couple of the new songs from George Strait's upcoming album, Cowboys and Dreamers, have already been performed live. These include Honky Tonk Hall of Fame, featuring Chris Stapleton, and the lead single M.I.A. Down in M.I.A. The latter has a vibe reminiscent of Jimmy Buffett and Keith Whitley. While you might be tempted to classify this new song under traditional country in the new country music Dewey Decimal System simply because it's straight, it actually fits perfectly into the Buffett-inspired subgenre, Gulf and Western. This blend of styles showcases Strait's versatility and adds to the excitement surrounding the album's release. As country music enthusiasts and George Strait fans, we're eagerly counting down the days until we can get our hands on his new album. Are you also eagerly anticipating George Strait's album? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today's video, folks. Until next time, take care and keep the country music spirit alive.